Hello, welcome to this DCS FA18C tutorial. In this video, I will be covering a part two to the ACLS video that is currently up. Uh, I had some questions regarding what qualified as case three, and also a couple of requests to do this during daytime conditions. So to begin, we'll talk about what is case three. Here we can see that case three recovery occurs when any cloud ceiling is below 1,000 feet or when visibility is less than five nautical miles, uh, regardless of the cloud ceiling, and all night operations are considered case three. Here we have the actual procedure on how to do things, but as with all of our videos, we like to keep it simple and only tell you what you need. So we can actually ignore all of this. We can ignore this. As I said in the other video, the only thing we need to worry about is coming in at 150 knots and we'll actually be at 1,250 feet above the ground. All we'll do is fly the 150 knots at 1250 feet. When we get the needles, we will fly the needles. And then just like in the other video, as soon as they give us the ACLS lock on and we get within five miles, we will enable our ACLS automatic carrier landing. Now that that's out of the way, let's hop into the game. And I'll go through this in a similar manner as the other video, but I do recommend you watch the other video um, just to get um, a good understanding of what it's like in the nighttime as well as the daytime. Alrighty, so let's begin. First thing I'll do is set up my cockpit. I'll get my HSI up on the bottom, my HSI on the left, and then we'll pull up our TACAN, ILS, and ACLS info. So I'll go to my briefing. I want to land on the Lincoln, so it's TACAN 72, ILS 12, and the Link 4 data link frequency for the ACLS, Automatic Carrier Landing System, is 340. So let's go ahead and set that up. Tech in, 7-2, turn that on. ILS, 1-2, turn that on. Data link, make sure you see this screen. That is inputting your ACLS frequency for the link four, turn it on, and then three, four, zero, enter. At this point, we can go ahead and enable TACIN and ILS on our HSI. And on our left-hand page, we have to do this on the left, we can come down to this option, ACL, hide some of these labels, we can go to ACL, Automatic Carrier Landing, and we'll see in the upper right, it says test. Find some of this. So it says test. This is testing the frequency that we just put in for the Link 4 data link. Um, it'll say ACL1 if the test completes, and if it gives us a fail or an error message, that means we did something wrong and we need to check our frequencies. All right, ACL1, that means we have a good connection to the carrier. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and prep for my landing. So I'm going to make sure that my altitude readout on my HUD is radar, because we'll be getting pretty close to the ground. And I'll go ahead and radio the carrier. Lincoln, inbound. All right, final bearing is 288, so I'll go ahead and put in my course line. 288. And I'm just going to wait for them to stop talking. I'll get myself onto the line, just like a normal carrier landing. Reduce that scale a bit. And I'm going to work on getting my speed down to 150 knots and an altitude of 1,250 feet. Altitude. 
All right, they finished talking. I'm going to wait until I get to the line. And once I get to this line and I turn in towards the carrier, I'm going to radio established. When you're setting your data link, if you don't see this page, just click the data link button again and it'll change back to the regular link 16. Click it again and I'll go back to the link 4. Alright, my altitude's about 1,250, so I'm going to try and hold her here. You can be a little high, a little low, doesn't matter. Um, you just want to be within 100 feet or so of the 1,250 on your altitude. I'll uh, fine-tune that as I get closer and I'm when I'm on the line. Right now I'm still about 20 miles out. I'm just about intersected with the line, so I'm going to turn into it nice and easy. Always watching your speed and your altitude. I'm fairly on the line, so I'm going to go ahead and radio established. Wait for them to stop talking. We'll see data flashing. That means we are getting information from our link for data link. We see some new information over here, and we can just ignore that. We're keeping it simple, only worrying about what we absolutely need to. If you want to do it in full military procedure in detail, I highly recommend going to watch uh, Wags's video. But this is just what you need to do to land the thing in the simplest forms. All right, they've stopped talking again. It's all radio commencing. And you just fly the ILS line, just as you would with a normal carrier landing. All right, they've stopped talking again, so now I'm at about 1,250, I can radio in platform. Got my Roger on my platform. So I'm going to go ahead and start setting up for my landing. So I'll go ahead, gear down, flaps down, get rid of some of these things on my HUD so you can read my speed and altitude a little bit better. So gear down, flaps down. I'll also throw my hook down. And when my speed comes down to 150 knots, I'm going to engage my auto throttle control with the T key on my keyboard. T for throttle. All right, it's about there. T key, ATC is engaged. Now we're hands off our throttle for the rest of this procedure, and we're just keeping ourselves at about 1,250 feet, and we're flying the ILS line that we see on the HUD. Always a good idea to come down here and check and make sure you're still on the line, so we can see with the needle here, I need to move over to the right. 
And then it will bring me back to the left onto the line. I'm not utilizing any autopilots at this point, just my auto throttle control. We're going to keep talking as we go in. Uh, once we hit about six miles is when we'll start actually working with the ACLS. At this point, we're just waiting until we hit about six miles. We're at 10 miles right now. Again, we'll do our check. Hook is down, gears down, flaps are down, anti skid off, hook bypass is in carrier. As I said in the other video, you want to make your stick movements very small so that your auto throttle can compensate. If you're going to be moving drastically, bouncing up and down, your throttle is going to be uh, moving drastically as well, and that'll make this a lot more difficult. Just very, very small movements, similar to if you were uh, formation flying or aerial refueling. Stay on that vertical uh, needle line as best to your abilities. It's now bringing me over to the left, so I'll follow it, and keep your altitude at about 1,250, let auto throttle do the rest. Alright, we're approaching 6 miles, that's what we'll get in ACLS lock on call. We have our horizontal line. We can ignore that. We just want to fly the vertical. Alright. ACLS lock on. And now we're going to wait till we're within 5 miles. Just make sure you are on the vertical line. We can ignore the horizontal. As long as we are at 1,250 feet or thereabouts. We now see ACLS ready mode one because we have the lock on, and that's going to allow us to utilize the ACLS system. So I'm within five miles. All I'm going to do is open up my autopilot page and then hit coupled. At this point, I'm completely hands off the stick and throttle. We see coupled PR pitch slash roll, and it will fly us into the carrier. As of the release date of this video, there is a possible multiplayer bug where coupled autopilot might not work in multiplayer. And you'll see at this stage, coupled TCN, coupled TACN, and your plane will only fly the vertical line and it'll be up to you to fly the horizontal with your stick. Once that's fixed, uh, if you follow this procedure, it'll work just fine and you'll see the P slash R. If you were flying this manually, you would see this little tadpole circle, and that's telling you where you need to be moving your velocity vector to land. You'll see the plane is going to be moving itself, the velocity vector, towards that, and that'll allow us to land.
as always, it's a good idea once you actually touch down to throttle up to at least mill power. And that will allow you to uh, fly around if you end up boltering or you don't get a good hook catch. You can see us buffeting all around because of the wind and whatnot. So it really makes this a lot easier. All right, full mill power. And we're down. Come back. Hook up. Laps to half. And I'm going to taxi over. Hopefully all of this helps. Um, once again, I always recommend um, go back and watch the previous video as well for extra information and examples. Um, but hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching.